things that I think excited all of us at Elkhart General about the hospital engagement network was that it's the right thing to do for the patient. Many of the things that were identified as initiatives through the HEN are things that we were working on or knew we needed to focus on. The nurses kind of reassess patients. And what occurred then is a lot of excitement about, my gosh, we've got many, many resources available to us. They trend uh, over the months as well. When you look at the number of the adverse drug events that are occurring, um, not all of them are significant, but a fair number of them result in increased length of stay, bad outcomes, and sometimes nationally you see events that occur that are pretty substantial and impactful in a very negative way for patients. Consistently, we see anticoagulants as our number one medication involved in adverse drug reactions. And so when Hen came along and, and suggested that that would be a good place to work, as in monitoring the number of patients with INRs greater than six, we thought this fits perfectly with what we're doing. Have there been any changes in anything going on with how you're feeling? We began working with our cardiologist and our cardiovascular services committee. Right. So, how's everyone doing? to come up with a protocol that we would follow. And so if a physician now orders pharmacy dosing service for warfarin, then the pharmacy works under this protocol to take care of those patients. That sounds reasonable. Why don't we go ahead and try that? For all of our other patients, if we're not formally ordered to do that consult, we will monitor the patients peripherally. Really want to make sure we check your INR today. So in other words, we're looking at their doses, we're looking at their labs, we're looking for any risk that the patient might have. Did we have any safety issues or challenges in the last 24 hours? I think interdisciplinary work has been very much a part of the change in our culture from a more top-down organization to a lean organization in performance improvement. And because of that, I feel that we've been able to be very successful with adverse drug events as well as other HAN initiatives. I can follow up and make sure it got reported. Having pharmacists and physicians and nurses, and in the case of some adverse drug events, even dietitians involved is very critical to making the right process change happen. Looks like we were at seven and a half when we started. From participating in the HEN initiative for ADEs, we have been able to reduce the number of patients with INRs greater than six by 40% and that's just so exciting to us and, and for our patients. We are at the lowest rate we've ever been. One of the advantages of being part of the Hospital Engagement Network in Indiana is that we can share our successes throughout the state and throughout the country. So we have made significant improvements in our quality of care and our patients are really the ones who are benefiting from this. This is really not about competition. This is about making America safer and we believe strongly in that. Thanks for tuning in to HNHN Daily's special coverage of the Health Research and Educational Trust's Hospital Engagement Network. This project has been brought to you by the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Innovation, the Partnership for Patients Initiative, the American Hospital Association, and the Health Research and Educational Trust.